So one of the biggest questions that I get as a mortgage lender pretty much every day is how much money do I need in order to purchase a home? So there are so many different loan program options available for people, whether they are a first time home buyer or not. And don't forget again, a first time home buyer means that you have not owned a home in the previous three years of purchasing your new home. So there are programs for down payment assistance, grant programs, um, but just to really quickly go through three different loan program options and how much money potentially you would need if you're doing what's called an FHA loan. It's backed by the Federal Housing Administration. That down payment requirement is a minimum of three and a half percent of the sales price. So quick calculation, you take the sales price of the home times three and a half percent, that's your down payment required. And then you're going to want to average about 2% of the sales price for a closing cost assumption, because you will be coming in with down payment and with closing costs. Let's talk about a second type of program. It is called conventional financing. Conventional financing has a minimum of 3% down only if you're a first time home buyer and the loan amount has to be within the loan limits of the county that you're buying in. If you don't qualify for that, conventional financing will then allow as little as 5% down. So again, you take the sales price times 5%, that would be your down payment, plus your estimate of closing costs, which is about 2% of your sales price. Let's go to the third option, which is VA financing. So VA financing actually allows zero down payment. Regardless of where you purchase, if you have VA entitlement and you qualify for a VA loan, it is zero money down. Generally, you still need to have money for closing costs. However, in any of these three loan programs, you have the ability to get a credit. It could be from the seller, from your real estate agent, or from your mortgage lender. It will all depend on your situation, on the pricing of your loan, and what can be negotiated within that contract. So generally speaking, when someone asks, how much money do I need to purchase a home? It's going to depend on your credit score, um, what your income is, your debt to income ratio. There's a lot of factors that help us decide what mortgage program and what down payment you could make. Now I get asked a lot about down payment assistance. Down payment assistance requires you to fit in very specific guidelines. So there could be assistance of 2% or 3.5% or 5% that could go towards your down payment and or your closing costs if there's enough room to do that. Now, a couple of keys to those programs. Uh, you have to qualify for a certain debt to income ratio. They have different credit score guidelines. And sometimes there's a cost to doing that program. So if there's a cost, then it's going to eat up some of that credit that you're going to get. So what I tell people is if you're unsure, if you have enough money to purchase a home, it's always wise to talk to a licensed mortgage loan officer like myself, because we can walk through based on your situation, how much total money you would need for the down payment and for the closing costs to make you realize the dream of homeownership. If you have any questions, again, please feel to reach out and we'll talk to you soon.